conventional cycling wisdom says that if you want to improve your climbing you have to go out and ride up the hills but I'd even take that one step further and say that you have to find what I'm going to call your perfect climb and today I'm going to show you how you can find yours Climbing is one of these core skills in cycling. We'll all do it at some point. Some of us like climbing, some of us hate it with a passion, some of us are good at it, and some of us, yours included, are really bad at it. But no matter where you fall on that scale, I can guarantee that you will A, want to improve your climbing, and B, you want to get up any climb faster than you did the day before. And while the old school thing of going out and riding more hills is certainly going to work, I personally think there might just be a slightly better way to do it. If, like me, you aren't one of the most naturally gifted climbers in the world, going out and just finding a climb, any old climb, and riding up it as hard and as fast as you can is just going to be a slog. It's going to be really hard work. What you need to do is find a climb that's going to challenge you, but not break you. Because everyone's different your perfect climb will be individual to you so ideally what you'll be looking for is something that's going to keep you climbing just slightly longer than you would like and not so steep that uh, your cadence is going to drop below about 90 85 90 percent of your home cadence so for me that translates to a climb that's going to be between three and four kilometers long and because my home cadence is about 90 revs on a flat road I don't want it to drop below about 80 75 revs per minute now I'm up here at the Buns Benton Ho because actually this is one of my perfect climbs it's the right distance and it's the right gradient so when I'm cycling up it I can ride in the small ring uh, in the middle of the block at the back and keep my pedal revolutions at about 80 revs and then as I get fitter uh, and get a bit better at the climbs I can go up the gears a little bit and still maintain the same cadence and basically what that indicates is that I am actually getting fitter and I'm getting better at climbing. I'm also very lucky because once I finish the Buns Benton Ho climb, I descend the other side, go through the village of Hambledon, nice little recovery, and then I've got another perfect climb just afterwards. So I get two training sessions for the price of one as I climb up to the bat and ball.
as you're going up the climb, try to relax and maintain a smooth and consistent cadence. Also try and set yourself an upper and a lower cadence limit. And if you find yourself going above that by five pedal revolutions a minute, change upper gear. And similarly, if you find yourself dropping five revs below that, change down a gear and make it easier to pedal. If you can, also try to sync your breathing in time with your pedal revolutions. And then as your fitness increases and your climbing technique improves, you can go and test it all out on some shorter, steeper climbs. don't go expecting miracle results with this technique because if you're not a naturally gifted climber it's not suddenly going to turn you into Tade Pogacar but if you want an extra dimension to your training one that's really overlooked is the power of the mind when you're climbing and if you want some Jedi mind tricks about how to get up the climbs a bit quicker then you should click on this video just here thanks for watching